Hey you guys, it's Carl's here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, so in today's video, today's video, we're actually just gonna sit down and review a few lipsticks that I picked up from Wet n Wild. Now, full disclosure, the reason why we're gonna be doing do, do, do better. <laughs> I can talk. The reason why we're going to be testing nothing but wild, wild lipsticks today is because a few months back I ended up purchasing a wet and wild lipstick from Amazon and truth be told I was completely impressed with the quality of it. And I'm like maybe this was just a fluke right? So today we're going to test out a few products that I ended up purchasing from Amazon again because believe it or not they actually have some really good deals in terms of lipsticks from wet and wild so I had to pick some up, like, well, a few of them. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to do some swatches, test them out, see how the performance is. Is it still comparable to the first one I picked up, or was it really a fluke? And to give you my honest thoughts and opinions, comparing it to maybe a, a higher end um, lipstick that's currently on the market. So if this is definitely up your alley, make sure to keep on watching. But before we get started on that, as always, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up because I would greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get swatching and see what I think about these. Hmm. All right, you guys. So today's video, as I mentioned, I'll say a few months back, I ended up purchasing a lipstick from Wet n Wild, but on Amazon's website. And I was, well, because that video, I did nothing but Wet n Wild makeup products and I was impressed with overall all of the products that I picked up from Wet n Wild. If you haven't seen it, I will definitely include a link in the description in the description in the description field um, that particular video because I picked up everything up from Wet n Wild that I could pick up because I really want to try out the products because I haven't tested out any products from Wet n Wild from a hot minute, but the lipstick itself was like. I was like completely like shocked like the quality of it i'm like this is like a 20 25 dollar lipstick for like three dollars okay well wow well, i see you right okay so right away just so guys let you know i ended up purchasing five lipsticks from um from the brand of course well wow from amazon i will leave all of the products that i end up purchasing all of the items in the description field below so just in case if you want to check them out so real quick so let me show you the first lipstick that I purchased a few months back where it led me down to this rabbit hole of like, is their quality really changed? Because, hmm. Okay, so the first question that I had to myself is, what is high gloss? Because when I picked this up, this is the first one right here, right? You probably can't see because of the lighting. Um, this is high, well, it's not called, but the formula is Mega Less High Shine Brilliance. Um, this is L, wait, 2L01. The shade is Ro, wait, Rose, Rose and Slate. I can talk. But when I tested this out the first time around, I was like, this is like butter. It's like the formula is so creamy. And my other, and I'll show you real quickly. Um, my, the other two lipsticks I have for like a hot minute, I can't remember when I bought these. I think I bought them like months prior to this one. I don't know. Um, do they still make them? I looked on their website and I, in terms of like the shade color names on the back, like their ID numbers, they don't pop up anymore. So either these are discontinued shades or I don't know. They just don't sell them on the website. Maybe you can still buy them in the store, possibly. Okay, so just in case if you are curious, this is R wait, Raven. Raven something. Wait, hold on, you guys. Let me see. This one is... It, the font is so tiny. I consider this more like on the matte side of the lipsticks right here. You see this? Like, I'll show you. It's beautiful color. I'm not going to say it's not. But again, it's more on the matte creamy side. It's a gorgeous color, though. I'm not going to say that it's not. All right. So, since we have this out... I want to show you the comparison in terms of like the quality of this high shine. Okay, so let me show you real quick. Now you could definitely use a lip liner to kind of like darken up underneath it because keep in mind this will look like you have a, a, a gloss on. But but again, it's that high shine appearance. You see this? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me give you a close up. And the pigment is still pretty good. All right, so I end up picking up three of the high shine lip colors so we'll definitely test those out and then i end up picking up two additional not from their high shine this is more of their like their hydrating it has like vitamin 
A, vitamin E, and C in these particular lipsticks right here. Now, this isn't technically more of my cup of tea, but I figured I still want to test out these shades. This is more on a lighter shade, and I think it would look great on someone who has more of a darker skin complexion because I think on me, it could easily fade out. Do you see this? But I think this would go great on like like a lip liner and then darken up the lip liner and then go in with this. I think that's going to create a nice frosted look. Oh, I will say it goes on really smooth. Mm. Now, remember what I mentioned about frost? This is before I tested this out. You can tell that it gives off the illusion like a frost. So if you were to use a lip liner, definitely it would go really well. Let me go ahead and swatch this on my hand as well so you can take a look. Yeah, this is very sheer, so definitely you want to go in with a lip liner, but this actually a very beautiful soft pink with a nice shimmer to it. And just for kicks, I went ahead and applied a lip liner on. So let's go back into that same shade and see how this actually looks with the lip liner. Let's see if it gets any difference. Okay, again, the formula feels so good. It doesn't pull on my lips whatsoever. Okay, now do you see that? Huge difference. Let me get it closer right here. Oh yeah, definitely with a lip liner. I love the fact that it doesn't look matte, but it does feel like it would not feel, but it does look like it's almost a matte with a very subtle hint of gloss to it. Hmm, actually really nice. All right, so we got this shade right here. Let me take a look and see if I can see the shade number. So the shade number is 535D. Um, Black Orchard is the color of this. Really beautiful color. So let's go ahead and swatch this so you can take a look. All right. I don't know why I'm still getting like, it's almost like the high shine, but not as shiny. You still get like a very beautiful, like overall color. Look at this, you guys. Gorgeous, right? It's almost like you're getting a matte feel, but you're still getting like that, like if you were just put like a very minimal high, uh, a, a gloss on top. I can't think of my words, but this is gorgeous though. All right, so let's go ahead and test this on the lips as well and see how this looks. Okay, again, this formula is amazing. Okay, it's still very sheer. I'm not going to say that it's not, um, but... It's there. So again, this is the same situation with, with the other one where you could use, if you want to darken it up, go in with a lip liner and you can definitely darken up the lip overall. Okay, so now we'll go into the high shine gloss lipsticks. Now this shade right here, it is called Raining Rubies. Okay, I will say, funny enough, this doesn't glide as easy as the other one I just got done using. Hmm, I feel like this one's a little bit more on the thicker side in terms of formula interesting that I experienced that. Now you can see this one actually does have that high shine overall appearance. Now again, I am very intrigued why this one feels a little bit more thicker when I applied it. And then comparison to the last one that's more on the hydrating side, who knew why? I don't know, but this is actually really gorgeous. Now the other one, yes, the pigment is very minimal, but this one is a little bit more darker. So you don't necessarily need to use a lip liner if you chose not to. Okay. So if you were an orange person, meaning like you like the color orange, this would definitely be up your alley. However, I will suggest this would go perfect <laughs> with a lip liner, preferably more on the darker side because it does look funny with just the shape by itself. I'm not going to lie. It's not that cute, but it's a beautiful shade overall. Another thing I would suggest is that when you are applying this particular lipstick, apply it very lightly at first because it is so creamy that it starts pushing the lipstick out, believe it or not. Like, I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me pull it up. You see this? That is simply with me just applying it, it's pushing the product forward. I don't know why it does that. Um, it could just be the uh, the formula itself, but if you're questioning as to what shade this is, sorry, I'm looking down, is Tanger Ring the Alarm. That's the shade name. Okay, so this shade is actually very beautiful. Again, your choice, lip liner or not a lip liner. And now it's, it applies the same way. Again, be mindful how I did this very lightly and look how it increased right there. Now, is that a bad thing? No, if you want to try to avoid doing that, you could always go in with like a thin, thin, like lipstick brush. Sorry, I'm looking for one. I can't find it, but it just again, here, I'll show you. Now I got one, just a little regular thin, narrow brush like this. Take a little bit of the product of the lipstick and apply it that way. If you're too concerned that it may like completely push out, 
but what do you expect for something that's less than two dollars but we're not focusing on that we're focusing more on the quality and the overall pigment gorgeous color though now if you are curious about the color here this is crimson crime beautiful though i actually love the formula and i love how it applies just again it's weird it applies hard but it's almost like it's going to break who knew i don't know Ugh, whatever it is what it is but hmm. okay so now if you're curious just like me try not to get my lips to touch <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the top lip, I'm using the Hydrating 1, the vitamin A, E, blah, right? And then the bottom one, it is the High Gloss Shine Lipstick. Can you see the difference? But what I can't see is the color. They look exactly identical, right? So, again, is it a huge difference? What do you guys think? <laughs> Necessarily, let me take a look. Um very lightly very lightly the high gloss i do see the high gloss i'm not going to take that away the one on top i feel like it's more like between of a matte and a gloss shine to it so it's more of a personal preference choice now if you don't like the high gloss and you worry about the product kind of pushing over because it does feel like it's melting i would go with these choices right here first because again it looks very similar you're still getting the same effect just not as glossy hopefully that makes sense hopefully this is a good comparison so that you can see the two difference again the top one is this brand same when and wow just a different line in the brand and this one right here on the bottom is the high gloss shine lipstick definitely leave a comment below let me know your guys thoughts and opinions so what do you guys think in terms of the comparison and trying these out i again I actually like the formula. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, especially for the price point. And some people prefer using a lip liner and some don't. Again, it's more of a like personal choice, personal options in terms of what you have available to you. I think you can play with it either or. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing by all means. But I do believe you get a great overall quality of product for the price that you're paying because nowadays everything is so expensive, but you still want to be able to buy a brand new lipstick, a new shade that you want to try out and something that you may end up enjoying and loving all right you guys i for me it's a win in my book regardless even if the lipstick does tilt a little bit i just lets me know i may need to use an actual like makeup brush to apply the product if i'm so worried about that because sometimes we can be heavy-handed without even realizing it if this video was informative and if you want to see future videos similar like this comparing comparing <laughs> the new product definitely leave a comment below let me know your insights and feedbacks i greatly appreciate it but if you haven't done so already and you're still here which i also appreciate make sure you hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell as well so anytime i upload a new video you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up because i appreciate all that love and support but until then you guys make sure to brush your teeth wash your cooler and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video until then take care and don't be a cochina bye now